by Little John. Moving a by weight of 445 pounds, the fantastic. Hey folks, this is Snowman Jones. <laughs> and Amy. Amy said that I was a little low energy on the last video, so I grabbed myself a Mountain Dew and a bunch of sugar. what is sugar. We're going to discuss Silo Sam. Little John, you can see him kind of in the background here. We'll show the entire video clip here in a moment, so stick with us. Don't click away. Silo Sam and Little John. This is not the same like... guy. Same guy. Oh. Like wrestlers, okay. sometimes have different names. They go different okay. places. But so. was this Little John before Little John? Little John, this, way this 1985. Guy. So this, this is the original. The original Little John. John. Little, little tiny John. This is Little John. Yeah. He's got teeth. So he is a legitimate, approximately seven five seven six. They might have built him at like 7'7". Seven, seven. He is a huge what? man. One of the largest wrestlers, probably in my opinion, the second largest wrestler to Giant Gonzalez, Elegante, who we saw in a yeah. fursuit. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> With body paints. I don't know what's going on there. And um, just a huge man. Well, I, I like that he's like Little John. That's funny. Oh, yeah. It was uh, ironic. ironic. Yeah. And um, he was in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Oh, or, cool. Yeah, like he was Big Adventure. Pee Wee, he chases Pee Wee Herman around yeah you go ahead Eat. they're delicious you made them and um so let's go ahead and watch the clip we'll discuss it you guys leave us in comments below uh, some of our most popular videos are the oddities and freaks giants yeah, andre the giant and uh, elegante and yep. all right let's kick it off right about now by little john with a combined weight of 445 pounds the fantastic oh, what a big that man is this match is they just missed all five minutes. He's too tall. Two referees are Rick Hazard and David Mann. Okay, away we go. American Tag Team title now. That's a big man. Oh, the... There's Jim Cornette. I think Jim Cornette, this guy right here, who's now a very big podcaster, one of the biggest podcasters out there, yeah. very controversial, iconic wrestling manager, mm -hmm. called Little John a walking sack of S-H-I-T. <gasps> Because right. he can't really wrestle, he's just big and just doesn't like him. Uh -huh. And he had to work with him a lot. Oh, it's a nice pink suit that he's got on there. As it was counted, the Midnight Express will regain the American Tag Team belt. Little John, eight foot, all of him over there in the fantastic wrestling. <laughs> wrestling. And I guess it will stay. No, yes, that's right. It will stand as per. No, no. I'm not sure what's going on, but the idea that they even have Lil John here. Yeah. Yeah. So we think Jim Cornette has a point. Because he's just an oddity and he's not actually talented. Wrestling is a freak show, like a carnival, right? Yeah. Like they will bring a eight foot tall man, an eight hundred pound man, and a strong man, and maybe a bearded wrestler, a bearded woman. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know that Big John gets involved at all. Yeah. Jim Cornette gets involved here. It's chaos. Yeah. Whatever's happening. But look how many people would go to this. They love it. I'm not And Jim Cornette hits Lil John with a tennis racket. John win, yeah. I don't know. It's chaos, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Stepping over the ropes is his biggest move. I mean, it is impressive. Yeah. With all eight feet of them. So, would you go to wrestling just to see a man that size? Like, is that part of the fun? I mean, yeah. yeah. Like you want the cartoon you characters, see, right? Yeah, and you want to see something you haven't seen before, and. So here's a controversial topic, right? Mm -hmm. Andre the Giant. Right. Huge. One of the biggest draws, and David Letterman claimed him the richest man in professional wrestling at his time, his era, all sorts of things. Most popular, most well-known wrestler in the world. Yeah. At one time. Could hardly walk into the ring at some point, right? Yeah. Like, it's hard to watch. If, you, if he was to start today, would people just boo him out of the ring? Because he doesn't have the mobility. 
do we expect more of wrestlers than we did in 1985 i guess yeah probably a little bit. and i think that probably is something to the internet you can google and kind of get a feel for like okay what does an eight foot tall person look like yeah and if you've never seen that before and they're telling you little john's eight foot tall mm -hmm. come see him at your local exhibition center yeah. and then I'll come see him yeah go see him take the kids well. you know that's a lot crazier i think to see back then right yeah. it's still crazy now though i would still want to see him I'm, I'm in that small minority i guess i don't know but like when you look at the boston celtics yeah taco fall a seven foot seven inch um basketball player mm -hmm. um the when he got into the game his first game he could yeah. hardly walk and they're chanting mvp and the twenty thousand yeah. people just chanting his name and chanting mvp for a guy who could hardly walk it's the same thing we want to see oddities we want to see someone different than us we like that. Yeah. And wrestling brings that. I think you're right. Yeah. And I think that there is something too, like you don't ever get to see an eight foot tall person, but it is hard and it sucks like somebody like Neville, who is an amazing gymnast and mm -hmm. can just like yeah. do crazy things. But like you can see that other places. You can see mm -hmm. that in gymnastics or figure skating, or if you want to, like if you want to see somebody that's crazy athletic, there are other places to see people mm -hmm. that are crazy athletic. There's not other places where you get to see Andre the Giant. No. You know, so I think maybe that is still always no. going to be a big draw, even if they aren't as athletic. Something that always amazes me is you forget how big Andre was. Like, I always want to be like, oh, I wasn't that big. But you see him next to Earthquake, who's a 468 pound man, and he makes uh, Earthquake look like a baby. 480. Like and Andre was at least 520. Like, I don't know. He was just a just massive individual. That's crazy to think about. Yeah, so. And I like I, I know some big people, but it's not the same kind of big as Andre, because he was tall and he had those big hands. He wasn't just fat, you know, like he yeah. was fat, but like all sorts of big. You big like, all over. You like the giants. I'm even a giant guy. Yeah. And if someone must, because it's our most popular topic on our channel. People like uh, the Yeti video, I think, has fifteen thousand views and it's early like yeah. one of the most popular topics. Giants. All right. <laughs> All right. Tell us um, who else should we talk about next? Who else, what other clips should we watch next? What giants should we look at in the future? We've covered Yeti at least once. Mm -hmm. Covered Andre the Giant once. Giant yeah, Gonzalez. Okay. Yeah. Giant Gonzalez. And little now Giant. Silo Sam. Lil Joan. You little like that? You like saying I that? I like it because he's th not little, so it's fun. <laughs> you say it like Lil John. Lil John. He's Little John. Little, little John is a different man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So let me turn this down for what, and we'll get out of here. Thanks again for watching. Click like, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> and don't forget the notification bell is your friend. She hates that I say that. Adios, amiga. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tori, and I'm here to give a testimonial about Restmore. The thing I love most about Restmore is that it puts me into a deep sleep to where I'm not restless or tired the next day. I take two rest mores a night. It helps me relax, mellow before bed. Instead of uh, laying in bed and all my thoughts are everywhere and I can't go to sleep, rest more has really helped me since then because without rest more, I would always be laying in bed, not relaxed, my mind going every which way. But as soon as I started taking rest more, it relaxed my mind and my body. If you're looking for a better sleep, I recommend rest more.